First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. Before we get too carried away with my story, uh, let's look at some of the things uh, about getting a place to live in uh, Manila, Philippines. Most uh, expats, they uh, assume that uh, going to Manila is just like uh, any other big city in the world, but uh, they will very quickly find out that it's not. It's, uh, it's very much a... Uh, city that has many different communities. They have very uh, rich communities and they have very poor communities and uh, it's easy for expats that come for the first time to Manila to assume that all of Manila is just a uh, large heap of poor people living in the slum because uh, sometimes that is frankly what you see when you drive off uh, from the airport. There are some uh, poor areas uh, not too far from the airport. Um, so today we're going to talk about the uh, the good areas, the, the more upscale areas of Manila, uh, in particular Makati. And uh, I'm going to throw a map up here and you can see pretty much where that is located in Manila. And uh, I took the liberty of uh, adding uh, a couple of uh, triangles around the main areas where expats uh, seem to be renting. And uh, my favorite area is the uh, Legaspi village area. That's the uh, triangle uh, lowest on the image. And uh, the reason I like that is, is because it's right next to Greenbelt Park and uh, Glorietta SM Mall and a few other uh, great uh, shopping areas so uh, it's very convenient to never need to take taxi anywhere. Uh, on the image you can also see the upper triangle which I, I uh, put on the image and it shows uh, quite a few rentals available uh, right next to the or in the red light area so looks like the red light district is uh, having a good business there and then I noticed and I haven't really tried uh, been to this area much at all it's uh, it's a smaller triangle on the images right next to Manila uh, cemetery and um, like I said I've never uh, investigated uh, that area but have walked by on the outside and it seems uh, uh, seems a bit mixed. There's some some restaurants, but it's also very uh, seems like a poor community, uh, run down or whatever, or not built up so much. Uh, that's why I favor Legaspi Village, uh, the lower triangle area there next to Greenbelt. And today I'm also going to give you a little tour and a little treat of one of my secret little uh, rentals or buildings for rentals uh, right on the edge of Lagaspi village it's called the Beacon Tower and uh, it's about uh, ten dollars five to ten dollars cheaper than actually a unit uh, in uh, a block away right inside of Lagaspi village um, so it's it kind of has a Lagaspi village feel to it you can just walk uh, right into uh, Legaspi village across the road uh, from Makati Square so it's uh, still extremely good location like I mentioned before next to Greenbelt and uh, $28 I think I paid uh, per night through Airbnb so it's very reasonable uh, you are probably looking at uh, 37 or $40 a night for uh, 
a studio apartment inside of Legaspi village. So this is the 26th floor in Beacon Tower overlooking uh, Makati Square below and uh, Legaspi village over there and you can see the park and uh, I'm going to walk you to my uh, a uh, unit that I'm renting on a daily basis right here. Uh, door is open and here we are 2621 and come on in take a look it's uh, nice and clean it's small I think it's probably only about uh, 20 something square meters um, and a uh, quick tour here. Here's the bathroom. Uh, looks nice and clean. Towels. Uh, this is like a water heater, shower heater. Uh, toilet. Looks good. Looks clean. This is my luggage. It's taking up some space here because the unit is really small. And what I also did like is they will actually provide filtered, uh, in Philippines they call it mineral water, but it's actually just filtered water. That's from uh, downstairs on the ground floor. They have a company doing water filtration for the, for the building and the neighbors around. And uh, uh, looks like some uh, cupboard space here. Whoa, that's the shortest little cupboard space I've ever seen. It's only about eight, 8 inches, 10 inches deep. I guess that'll have to do. And a TV little stand there. Uh, got some internet here and password. I will be checking the speed later. And here's the, the big drawback of the unit. They're using the wall, uh, wall unit uh, for air condition. That's very noisy. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, it does does keep it cool, but uh, hard to sleep with that at night because it's like a motor motorbike. And here's uh, the view out of the window. Looks like we have a south-facing view here, so uh, I'm suspecting that in the morning the sun is going to shine in here and it's going to get very hot. Uh, we'll have to check that tomorrow because it's the afternoon right now. And uh, what I like about this location, Beacon Tower, is the Walter Mart shopping uh, center right, right across the street here. It's very convenient. So, um, in all, it's a good little unit. It reminds me a little bit about uh, a hotel room because it's so small. But uh, it'll do for now, for a few days. And um, the refrigerator is nice and big some food in there already and they got a microwave and a mirror here so yeah I guess this is comfortable it'll do for now and I forgot to look in the cupboards but it looks like it's uh, they got some good uh, kitchen uh, equipment here here's a water water heater the Chinese love that and here's a rice cooker some extra tissue and uh, they also have some uh, um, plates and soup bowls here and some eating equipment so, so it's a fully equipped unit got a frying pan here also. and uh, garbage can uh, yeah so it's a, it's a nice fully equipped unit I like it